Hi guys. <laughs> hi. hi. Say hi. Hey, don't don't don't, don't 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 grab them, okay? You can damage the fruit. Yeah. Yes, we are. We are in the front yard and again we just finished picking another small basket of tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. We have yellow pear. And we still have plenty of tomatoes. Um, we're trying to stretch the plant out as long as possible. You can do it. It's possible if you live in a beautiful uh, temperate zone like we are in Southern California. And today we have about 80 plus degree sunny sky, but nice and cool and very pleasant. Okay, I, and I think the plants also like that as well. Uh, but today I want to give you an update on the plant here and of course you know this is the fuzzy melon uh, or mukwa that's how I guess that's in Chinese but also I want to talk about another subject that related to the plant and temperature uh, mainly the temperature and climate is really what I want to talk about today so let's focus in on the fruit and here I have a beautiful uh, beautiful fruit here about 10 inch maybe 3 inch in diameter but if you look in th on this side here look at that uh, the fruit is, is splitting look at that uh, nothing wrong with the fruit perfectly fine well developed but it's split uh, so that's unusual and that's not that's not normal in a sense okay um, now I suspect the reason why it's split because of the extreme fluctuation temperature. So this week we have very cold night, maybe 45 degrees, 50 degrees in the morning. And then daytime, daytime temperature we have about um, 75 degrees, 80 degrees. But I'm not just talking about this week, I'm talking about uh, two weeks ago we have 90 degree plus weather and suddenly we have very cold, very cold, really cold, uh, real cold um, weather and that will definitely affect the fruit and I also see with dragon fruit as well uh, when, it's, when the when the temperatures fluctuates too much so much it it will definitely make the fruit uh, split um, again temperature it's probably the most important thing when you're growing stuff outdoor you can have bad soil good soil good nutrients lack of nutrients you can still grow stuff but if you don't have the, the climate, don't have the temperate climate on your side, uh, you're pretty much out of luck. Um, of course, you can you can grow stuff indoor and you can control the the, the climate. That's exception. I'm not talking about those. And how many plants do you know that actually grow in snow or sub-zero degree? Virtually non-existent. I mean, you have do have plants that like the cold weather, like the, a lot of stone food. You know, apple, pears, and peaches but those are exceptions and they are annuals and they shed all the leaves and they kind of go into a dormant phase and they come back the following year but however majority of the vegetable and fruit that we, we consume are in the tropics you know all the animals all the monkeys or whatever or not they live in the tropics and, and they, they live in a very nice temperate zone that that are suitable uh, for a lot of vegetations and a lot of fruit bearing plants uh, and the animal too they like that of course you have polar bear and you know in the polar region that's the exception again and then again you're talking about the desert the other extreme side I mean sand how, how, what's grow there almost non-existent right you do have several uh, plant grow there but pretty much in order for for human to survive we, we really need a good temperate zone to, to live in uh, in harmony with the plants and, and all the stuff that we consume. Okay, so that's just my thought on on temperature. I think it's probably the most important thing, even more important than the soil itself uh, and and the nutrient itself. You can grow, still grow stuff in that soil. They don't do so well. The plant don't do so well, but you can still grow stuff in a sense, right? But without the temperature, game over. That's just my thought. Okay, so. I'm going to continue, this is looking beautiful. Now, when it's small like this, it doesn't affect the melon. Um, the temperature will not cause it to be a problem. Only when it gets too cold, then it will affect the entire plant and it won't 
mature, it won't develop. That's it. But the splitting, that very specific, specific uh, uh, problem, it has to do mainly with the temperature fluctuation, the extreme temperature I'm talking about. From 90, it didn't go down to 40, 50 degrees. That's 40, 30, 40 degrees different. That's really, really harsh for the plant. I mean, imagine like you going to the Arctic and then going to the desert at the same time. I mean, what happened to your skin? What happened to your uh, internal stuff? You know, that, that probably put a number on you. Here's another beautiful one I want to show you guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful one. Wow. So I have about maybe 10 fruit here. Uh, and I prune off some of them already. Some of the uh, side shoot vine. So I have about 10 fruit here. And hopefully the consistent temperature will help them make it all the way through the cycle. And uh, again, plant do like some of the cool nighttime temperature, but they do like they do ha need the sunny sky like we have in Southern California in order for them to do well. And this weather is just beautiful right now. It's just beautiful, 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees, sunny sky. The wind is nice and cool, uh, so it doesn't put a lot of stress on the plant. And I can certainly feel that the plant really likes it. The soil is nice and moist because it's not too hot. Uh, and the plant can, can really re recuperate from the hot daytime temperature. So I still have a lot of fruit here, you can see here. Uh, some of them are pretty much uh, on the way to developing. Some of them will abort themselves if they don't make it. Like this one here, I'll show you one here. This one you can tell right away. This one is not going to be developed. I hope my shadow don't block the view. Okay, we have beautiful sunny sky. Alrighty, so that's my take on on the temperature and the climate when when growing stuff out into war. Uh, if you liked this video, if you have any comments, please post a comment for me, and please subscribe to our channel. And have a really beautiful day. And happy gardening.